You're in a dimension where history, language, and the very nature of reality is controlled by the whims of college professors and New York Times interns. You've just crossed over into the woke zone. This is a trans activist. He may not look scary, but you better always smile around him, think happy thoughts, and never contradict anything he says, or he will cancel you and you will never return. This is the woke zone. I have new ideas to share with you. Ooh, very good. If someone in a men's prison identifies as a woman, she should now go to the women's prison. But couldn't that cause problems with... Are you thinking transphobic thoughts? No, of course not. I'm your mother. I mean, your womb-possessing human who gave birth to you. You're right about the prisons. Oh, yes. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? oh, oh, yeah. That's absolutely right. And trans women should be able to compete in women's sports, just like any other women. But but what about biological differences? What? Aren't trans women women? Completely true. I have a new idea. I've now decided that all kids need to be on puberty blockers until they're old enough to decide on their gender for themselves. All right, I, I can't take it anymore. This is madness. This is complete insanity. That's transphobic. Phobic? The only one scared of these people. He only has power while you give in. What you're doing isn't tolerance or compassion. It's just cowardice. Speak up. No one likes you. You're a bad man. And that's why you're canceled. One of the most offensive things of all. It's necessarily gender. Please. Send him to the cornfield, son. It was a good thing you canceled that man. A very good thing. I have a new thought. The government needs to pay for fertility treatments for trans women, since they can't have babies for some reason. Great idea. <laughs> you may think there's a reality outside of people's feelings, but you better keep those thoughts to yourself, in case you've wandered into the woke zone. Jemima? You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension of ever-changing boundaries based on the latest college fad. Where every concept of justice is intersectional with terror. This is the Woke Zone. Portrait of a Frightened Man. Mr. Robert Wilson, 37, husband, father, and owner of a drugstore. He's always thought having his business burned down would be a pretty bad thing. A seemingly reasonable thought. But now the protest is in town. And with it comes the woke zone. What's that commotion outside? It's just a peaceful protest for justice. It's nothing to worry about, dear. I guess you're right. I, I think there's a riot outside. What are you talking about? This is a protest against racism. Yeah, what's your problem? Nothing, nothing. I guess I just misinterpreted what I saw. It is a riot! A riot on the side of the drugstore! You need to calm down. You're making a scene. It's just, I saw... I don't care what you think you saw. You need to support disenfranchised people when they're seeking justice. Get control of yourself. Why don't you take some pills? What pills? This is a drugstore. Just grab whatever. Is there a riot? There's a riot happening inside the store! Someone do something! They're burning us down! It's madness! This is fine. How is this fine? I can't be the only sane person left in this world! Look! It's right in front of you! Can't you see all this? Can't you see? You mean the fire and the looting? Uh, yeah, the fire and the looting. Oh, sure. I mean, we see it. We're just trying not to focus on a few non-violent things like the complete and utter desolation of a city. No justice, no sin! That, that's not a problem? No, of course not. The problem is, you're a racist. Oh. Arson, theft, assault. We call these crimes, but the real crime is noticing them when you're in the woke zone. You're traveling to another dimension, a dimension of ever-changing boundaries based on the latest college fad, where every concept of justice is intersectional with terror. This is the Woke Zone. We need to teach our kids not to be racist. It's simple and easy. Tell them not to judge others based on race. But things are not so simple in the Woke Zone. Happy birthday, sweetie. Wow, it's the new CR Tina doll. I'm CR Tina. 
And racism is bad. Whoa, what? What was that? I don't know if I care for this. It's very popular. It's teaching all about the problems of racism. I'm C.R. Tina, and the racism of the past still has an effect today. I guess that's okay. Now let's go get cake. Yay, sugar! I'm C.R. Tina, and I don't like you because you're a white man. What? I'm C.R. Tina, and all white people are racist. Ugh. What are you doing? There is something wrong with that doll. It says awful things. I'm C.R. Tina, and people of all races need to care for each other. What's wrong with that? Th th that's not what it said. Wh what it said was awful. Hearing what we need to do to end racism won't always be easy. But you can't lash out. I I'm not lashing out. It said... It's Come on, Christy. Let's see who that is. I'm C.R. Tina, and we need to abolish whiteness. Huh? Why? Whiteness needs to die. <gasps> no, you need to die. It's you that needs to die. Why are you yelling at the doll? There is something very wrong with it. We can't have it near our daughter. I'm C.R. Tina, and we all have to actively fight against racism. Maybe you need to look deep into your heart and see if there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm C.R. Tina, and together we can end systemic racism. I love you, C.R. Tina. I love you, too. But you shouldn't love your father because he's a white man. <laughs> you stay away from my daughter! What now? This doll is evil! We need to get rid of it! I'm C.R. Tina, and I just want to teach about the horror of racism. I don't know who you are anymore. We're leaving. You turned my family against me! Have I ever told you of the white supremacist roots of Burlap? Quiet! I'm sick of your race-obsessed nonsense! I'm getting rid of you once and for all! I have a doll in here that hates white people. I'll have it banned from the state. Really? Aren't there First Amendment concerns? Mm -hmm. That horrible doll has been banned, but I got you a new doll. Patriot Tammy. I'm Patriot Tammy, and it's okay to be white. I love you, Patriot Tammy. I'm Patriot Tammy, and I'd even say it's good to be white. Mm, what's that now? In fact, being white is great. Oh, boy. Hey, Eric, you said I could borrow your circular saw. We're being robbed! Maybe you don't need to get your daughter a doll. Maybe buy her a chemistry set and get her into STEM. Perhaps that's the best way to survive the woke zone. Oh, dang, that was funny. Man, that hit my funny bone right in the funny bone. Yeah, we're watching our own videos and saying they're funny. How cool is that? Uh, I mean, who does that? Who does that? So. We do that. Live action sketches, animation, podcasts. We have it all on the Babylon Bee YouTube channel. So we want you to subscribe to it so you can get notified. How do you get notified? Don't you have to click like a... I think there's a bell picture. A bell. And click the little bell.